What's up guys, Sukuna Fire Arrow from Jujutsu Kaizen. So, I guess we gotta do the hand first. Situate his hand in the right spot first. So we got like, at the back of your hand, center point of my page is about here. Your hand has this W thing at the base of it, right? So it's got this double curve line. So it's got like this. It's kind of this double bump, right? And the back of your hand will kind of come up here the way they've drawn it there's lots of bumps and wrinkles and stuff and his thumb is kind of hanging downward so say like so we'll go for his little finger right and you've got like two knuckles that bump up and down there two fingers facing inward and so just like going down on themselves sort of folding in underneath their own skin there and then two fingers sticking out the tips of which are on fire kind of right so go like out this way and then the other side would be like here right and there's all wrinkles and skin lines and stuff and of course lots of fire so another finger going this way and the other side of it here then, which will join the thumb at a certain point here. But we'll just add a few more lines to these knuckles up here first. Pan of the hand lines and stuff. Right, so this big thumb, right, so it comes out this way. The hand is like bigger than his head, right, so the thumb sort of looks bigger because it's closer to the camera say imagine if there was a camera it's drawn quite sort of rough it's not like it's not a great thumb drawing okay and then of course the wrist and forearm will just go like this way we've got like some wrist lines here and tattoos and things but we we'll get the flaming fingers, right? So, yeah, let's just give this a go. So it's kind of comes around, spiking around just the tip of the finger here. Pretty square. You got like they draw in extra fire lines in this anime, so like extra sort of lines like that, right? So it's like black there, and it gets orange and yellow on the outside. And then we just kind of just do the same thing over here, just like general sort of spikes, and then fire kind of coming around the tip of this finger. And then you got like layers of fire inside. Okay. And of course the, the big flaming arrow up here, but we will, will we do that first? Yeah, maybe I will. I'll just get the shape for it in. So we'll just go there. I go off my page a bit go back up and it goes to a point just at the front then maybe there and it's just like lava kind of fire gone up off that way okay and more fire running down his hand and stuff all back this way in between the fingers and then they do add like extra effects with line they use line in the show not often do they do this do they actually draw in the fire different tones you know they draw in where they go so that's like orange and like yellow in between and stuff
So I'm just doing this kind of random now. It's not sort of... bits of fire just kind of coming off here as well okay so now we'll go back towards the body so his body's in this half and his head and everything not a lot of detail in the face like it's fairly basic right so okay so we've got like the forearm going this way curving around right the forearm underneath here maybe a bit of an elbow joint going there Like that and he's got those black tattoos on his wrist sorry for the noise in the background my kids are making noise in the hall and then his sleeve like covers his like face a good bit right so it comes back this way and his shoulder and his hood and stuff comes back like so and it's all kind of looks like it's ripped and torn down here, but it's hard to know really because it's quite dark. And then his back goes down here, and then the chest down that way. So that's like his jacket, kind of just going that way. Okay, so we'll give, we'll attempt his face in here just behind his shoulder, okay? So the nose here, and it looks like it kind of like curves around here, there. Right, so that's where his nose is, right? So we can see like his eye comes out from just at the top of this nose line. So we can see his top eyelid line there. And then his bottom eyelid line in there. And then we have an iris, a half circle, and a pupil just there. And then his cheekbone sort of here. So then at the top of the eye line, we've got his brow sort of sticking out. And then the forehead goes back that way. And then his eyebrow sort of above here, so it's like a sort of spike here, back that way. And then his other eye, so it's like just across here, you go up, flat across, and then kind of square around here. And then his iris and his pupil under their half circle. So he's kind of looking up. Eye line there. Nice. And then he's got sort of his sideburn goes down behind his hood, right? So his hood is like sort of here. It's Itadori's hood, obviously. So we just have his top eye line there. And then the eyebrow goes back here. And then that extra sort of Sukuna eye there. Tiny little red eye in there. Right, so we've got like a sideburn here where his jaw starts. And then his ear comes out from around there. And you've got like ear lines inside there. And then his hairline, just this Z zigzag sort of thing going back around this way. Uh, 
like that. And his hair is shaved at the back, right? So it comes out from behind his ear. And then it's got this spiky section there. And then it spikes back. So they just do general short spikes, really. Maybe some in the front here. And folding lines kind of there, and his hood is like, no, that's fire. Where's the hood? So the hood will go, and it's pretty close to the top of his head. So say like here. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of high up on his head, actually. So then his hand sort of is grabbing the arrow with two fingers, right? And we see a sleeve and a thumb. Right. Let's give this an attempt. Okay, so like his wrist and then like the thumb. Okay, and it's kind of drawn real square, sort of rough. It's not... Not an amazing hand drawing, but it does the job. And then he's got like the purple fingernail there. And then we can see his finger just coming around this way. There, and like palm of his hand. And then another little finger here, that way. And then the back of his hand just goes up there and then his sleeve seems to like just go behind his nose and then we can just see fire coming out from between this finger here and it goes like behind his head right or at least it seems to and then it's coming out from between these two fingers right so got two knuckles Like that, right? So he's like he's holding it like you'd hold an arrow. And then the rest of that fire stuff just comes out from behind the fingers this way. This sort of long skinny section of the arrow coming out there. Tricky. Right, so like chest and stuff. There. And then a bit more fire just going out from behind his head. And like drawn in orange sections and stuff like that right and of course like you know like little little bits of fire that are like flying off there and oh yeah his markings on his face nearly forgot that so it's just we'll draw them a bit simply so we go down in that way it's like a wine glass Kind of shape and then one across his nose like so sakuna fire arrow hope it's helpful thanks for watching wait i'm gonna make this a bit skinnier thanks for watching see you in the next one bye